Hey there, everyone. This is Aokao playing a video game that we call Delightful Adventure Enhanced. And last time we completed Cloud World. Even though the next place, you know, a little bit shorter, wet with. Well, it's not that short, actually. Point is, though, it is probably not gonna be a one shot like I've been playing recently. Because Rixie took time out of their time to tell me, don't one more level into the boss, the final boss, which has its own level. So that's a pretty scary thing to hear about. But I'm gonna take that seriously. Alright, so, so it's the world castle. But also here is Volcanic Ride. There we go. Playing as Mario again. Like I said, like the switch to Luigi just kind of happened on its own last time. Hot head hop. I recognize this. Here we go. I recognize these tiles too. I feel like I've seen these specific tiles and like contestuses and stuff. That's right. I bounced on a potabo. Alright, there's the hot head hop. And there's hot head and he's hopping. Here's just a guy with hammers and things. That's right, idiot. I got bop, you bop, and then you're gonna sock. Always and forever with the sock. Check it out, it's Blarg. Little tiny Blarg. Trying his best. Be careful about the world and all it contains, such as squirrels and dynamite. The two things you need to be worried about, I guess. Well, so, like, I was trying to follow the skulls, but turns out just kind of got all mushed up on the side not gonna do much very useful have a midpoint whoa check it out it's a bouncy guy that's a poison and I got poison turns out on this ice block there is ice physics and in Smebex ice doesn't just make it hard to stop it also makes it hard to start which as far as I'm aware you know as a Canadian who has had a lot of contact with things like ice, just a, a, a lifetime of experience. I feel like this is true. Like, I feel like video games understate that one of the real effects of ice, it, it kind of makes it hard to get going. Like, that's one of the parts where it says it's most dangerous. It's when you're in a standstill, and then you have to start going somewhere. Watch out, Potobo and that guy. They're all iced up now. What does that mean? Nothing really. I'm gonna duck and get a 20 coin and get bitten in the butt. Was that worth that? No, I don't think so, honestly. Totally not. Destroy some bricks and then slide down the slope. Well, watch out there, buddy. I'm gonna do a big jump. Yeah, I thought that's what was gonna happen, but I'm gonna do that here. See, because if you can keep the bigness, that's how you get this 20. Yeah, 20 coin value. And here's the end of the level, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't, like, it's really, really, really weird how I decide what, what I want to get. In terms of, like, coins standing around. I'll go out of my way for some. Completely ignore some others. It's just... There's, I, I feel like I'm not very consistent with those, just in general. Outskirt tanks, because we're now we're still in the outer domain. Thanks on the outskirt airship remix. Look at those flags. There's a tank. Ooh, it's very fancy. That's a bomb bomb. Boo boo. I like the name in Japanese. Boo boo, which is yeah, translate to Bob. And then. So, N of A decided to go ahead and keep translating that as Bob Um, but... Well, I don't know if it was in Ten of America, though. At the time? Like, during... Was there, was there an Ten of America back on the NES here? Probably. No, there totally has to be. I don't know. I don't know why they built this tank in particular. Like, it just does not make sense in a context that is not video games. Oh, shoot. I'm probably gonna get crushed. Maybe not? Okay, just barely not. Alright, alright. See, at least the, the, the bullet bill cannon makes a little bit of sense. It is a firearm. But just flamethrowers going straight up. Alright, you're gonna put a poison floating on it. Alright, gonna cook it up. Get the high quality poison going. Yo, check it out. Organisms. What? Oh no! A poor dog! It just could not stop itself but to run right into the spinning wheels. What an idiot. It's not- that was not a very smart dog, you know? You say dogs are pretty smart, but I mean, it's like people, it's like anything. There's a range. 
there's a wide range of how smart a smart animal is gonna be. It's, it's just like people. There's a variety of personalities. Though, though, though personalities are less complex. And, uh... You know, in, in like animals that uh, have less developed brain. And not only that, like, this is why mirroring happens. I, I, I think that's the way I understand it. Like, I might be wrong. But, like, the reason mirroring happens is that, you know, like, pets... Like I said, they don't have a brain that is as developed. But instead what happens is that they they have the, capa the capability of having personality, but it's sort of like, it's, it's, it's weaker. So what ends up happening is that they sort of absorb uh, the personality traits of like, the ones around them. I thought it was a sneeze. It's boom boom and pom pom. Well, I got fire fire. So we we're going. Oh, well, if you're just gonna do that, it's a song. Clungo, yeah. Cla you don't got spikes on your shell, ninja girl. Get out of here. All right, okay. I'm getting hurt in dumb ways. <laughs> Dude, really? That seems like cheating. All right, here we go. Uh, okay. Well, you know what? If I can separate them, this is gonna end up being a lot easier. <laughs> Took all my hits, though! But yeah, I've always had issues with Smebeg's Moon Boom. Like, that is nothing new. Like, if there's just something about the slippery way he slips around, goes everywhere, that I find genuinely difficult to deal with. Here's just the gate! Is this gonna be like an actual level? Because it also goes up to the castle. Oh. Oh! I need like an actual star that I don't have. Uh, well, well, well. Well, 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 well. Well, 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 well. Alright, well, let's go into Fort Res then. And then this may lead to the boss. I don't know. Unforgiving Fort Res 2. Uh, have we done an Unforgiving Fort Res 1? I don't remember. Alright, it's Mario time, by the way, I guess. Welcome to the castle. Castle Crescendo. Okay, I mean, this is a big level. It has a title up there. We got ourselves a portrait. We got ourselves a skeleton with ten. We got a Oh, that's cool. So the skinny mushroom is just a mushroom, but it won't be, like, moving around everywhere. That's clever. Here we go. Fade and fade out, I'm gonna press this dynamite, I don't even know why I would- Well, because I'd be boxing in between. Well, yeah, I kinda- I did the jump. Then I saw uh, the Potobo sort of like, er, uh, I wonder if they're- oh, oh, is this like- okay. I was like, wait. I was waiting to like, spin jump on a Potobo or something. Like, the- the background- the grill uh, read more as background than actual fence. Gonna wait a little bit, see if like a prize gets revealed. That was not the case. I get the feeling the bottom lava's gonna rise at some point. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Give me gifts, please. But you didn't. So now I'm up here. Maybe we're gonna make it erupt downward. Wait, there's no fence coupons, my backs. Well, whatever. Yeah, okay. I think I'm heading down. Uh, this is such a no. Just right place at the right time. Let's go. Let us go. Alright, so, okay, so I'm gonna be pressing that plunger at the top of the world. That's gonna do something. I don't know what that something is, though. So I pressed that, it did a little victory chime. Now what? Do we just go out the door? Well, this time, Bony Beetle's gone. Okay, I guess we're going backwards? Weird, did not expect that. Okay, all right, fair enough. Is it? I don't know. Like, what does fair enough mean in this context? 
fair about what oh we might be going beyond the starting point though that's might be what is going to happen exactly i gotta do this jump it's a little scary check it out the door i came originally through is iron and gray going forward and this lava filled path it's a little bit scary like i don't want to like yeah like I, i'm just kind of worried about like making a jump okay it's just a bouncy guy and big statues it's a pretty good time Welcome to the place that's in between the place. Lava flying everywhere. Did this slap him in the face like I was hoping for? I guess that's okay. Just gonna be careful here. Take my time. There's no time limit. Just be careful, yo. Be careful, yo. <laughs> I wasn't sure that was a decoration or like a thing that will spit at me. Which means it's pretty effective, all things considered. Like, I feel like we take for granted that statues will hurt you. When, originally, they were used such a way where that was a surprise. Remember the first statue that spit laser diagonally at you? Yeah, like, that was always supposed to be a trap. But we just kinda take the trap for granted now. The strats has changed! Through reality! Go on top of a column and jump! Don't get burned though, yo! Bowser K! King of Fiends! Turtle Dragon! He's looking really comfy. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Soon my new partner will have regained his full power, then we'll conquer the world together! In the meantime, Let's have ourselves a good old-fashioned plumber barbecue. <laughs> Did we really ever have that, though? Your delightful adventure title drop ends here, Mario. Boah ha ha ha! It's Bowser! Watch out! He's got fire, and he is on fire. Okay, you make sound effect. Whoa, that was fast. All right. That was, like, faster than I anticipated. All right, how am I going to do damage to you? You have a health bar. You're smiling. You are having a great time. Can I jump on your head? I don't know. Normally you can't. I'm not going to assume you can. What is the song? Sparkling King. Oh, yeah. Alright. I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something to you. So, Well, not John. Wendy. See, this is why. Uh, I just... I don't know. How are we meant to fight? <laughs> How do I fight you, Bowser? Do I just do that and then like... Yeah, like, he's, he tries to land on me, so that's not gonna work. Uh, I just went through him there. Whoa! Okay, okay. Well, alright. See, like, I feel like... Jumping on Bowser is not a natural move to assume. Like, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Oh, hi. So, uh, yeah, I didn't... Oh, okay. The fire just makes it so I can't go on it. Weird, but fair. See, there I got hurt. Was it because I touched it? Whoa, then he got hit by me. I think it's because I just... I I booped a snoot rather than jump on his head. Maybe. But yeah, basically what I'm saying is that jumping on Mario on Bowser's head is never something I will just like assume. This is a good game. Now he's on fire, so. Well there I got hurt. But there I got not hurt. So you really want to jump, like, on top of his noggin. Ah, but then he does that, and then I get bot. Like, I feel like I was tempted into jumping diagonally against his head. Uh, as, as a form of pushing him back, right? But no, that is not what you want to do. You want to jump firmly on top of his head, and that will make him go backwards. This is a real dumb fight we're having. 
<laughs> I'm expecting to maybe have to jump. No, all right. So we'll put a bow from the side. Oh, uh, okay, okay. That kind of didn't last quite long enough to be scary. Okay. You got hammers now. Got it. Oh, is that odd? Oh, no. I don't know how I didn't. I didn't dodge that. I didn't like. I didn't think it was gonna hit me. So this is the tutorial. You can go on the thing when it's on not fire. I think I said that backwards. Oh, you can do that while... Okay, while he's spinning fire. I mean, you'll get hurt, though. But if you want to go for the speed clear... Yeah, like, don't let him time to act. That's the way to go. Which always makes me feel bad, because, like, there's a lot of work in this fight, clearly. Like, you want to have a chance to appreciate the work that was done. But that is just not the right tactic. The right tactic is to go in and go for the kill. Don't wait. Don't let him move. And Mario bows down in respect. Why does it always end this way? I didn't even leave an axe out this time. No, but your head was suspiciously jump on a bull. Well, Azaroshi, it's your turn now. You better fulfill your end of the bargain. Crush Mario once and for all. Well, I'm sinking. <laughs> that did not look comfortable. Okay, well, I'm glad I had a little bit of trouble there. That was pretty cool. That was a really cool fight. Check out this orb. But... Um... Yeah. No, there's no real but. This was really cool. It was really fun. This is like I said. I think you have to let the player know. Uh, that's gonna be the final battle. Which has a thing. I feel like I'm not gonna have enough things to open the gate. Well, we'll see. We'll let the things happen. Yeah, I, I, uh, again, I don't want to belabor, but I think it's important. You need to know that you can jump on Bowser's head. That you are not able to jump on Bowser's head is one of those Mario constants, and uh, I think it's important to make that clear. That is, that is my message to you, the people. <laughs> Very important message that will change the world of philosophy forever. Next time, file battle, I guess. Hey. <laughs>